The master budget or the operating budget for managerial accounting in the budgeting process chapter, the place we always start is the sales budget. Because if we know from the sales force or the marketing guys how many units they think they're going to produce, well, how many units they're going to sell, then we know what to produce, we know what to buy. Uh, Basically, it's the beginning of everything. So whether I'm selling a service or I'm selling a product or I'm making a product, I want to go to the sales force first. Now, in this particular problem, we are the bottled water company, and the bottled water company is problem P6. So we're going to be doing P6 um, for the next couple of tapes. And here, we find out that we think we're going to sell 40,000 bottles of water in the first quarter, and the sales price for those bottles is a dollar a bottle. So I brought a bottle along, and it's a 20-ounce bottle of water, and we're selling this for a dollar. Okay? So uh, sales force says $40,000. That means our total sales for the first quarter would be $40,000. Sales for the second quarter are 30,000 bottles of water times a dollar selling price, so that would be $30,000. In quarter three, we think we're going to sell 50,000 bottles of water at a dollar, so that would be $50,000 of total sales revenue. And finally, in quarter four, 55,000 bottles of water at a dollar apiece, or $55,000. So in total, for the year, we're going to sell um, 40 plus 30 plus 50 plus 55, or I believe it's 175 bottles of water. Yep. At a dollar a piece. So notice that the total sales for the quarter will equal our total sales for the year of $175,000. As a manager, it would be pretty good to know that the maximum you're going to sell that year is probably $175,000. So that would be your total revenue inflow. So um, that's how you do a sales budget. Now, one thing you need to notice. In this problem, we're doing the budget by quarter. Could I do the budget by month? Yes. Could I do the budget by week? Yes. Could I do the budget by day? Sure. So no matter what you um, delineate your periods as, you just will do your budget for that period consistently and then probably have a total column, uh, which I didn't have, did I? <laughs> 